Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo October 18, 2022. Good energy is with you for working with someone towards resolving a problem, and applying yourself to learning and studying. Teaming up can be especially worthwhile, or supporting a friend can strengthen a relationship. It's a time that favors structure, commitment, and planning. You benefit from support or help from others to accomplish a goal. You tend to prefer the company of trusted people and the comfort and freedom they give you to be yourself. The moon finishes its transit of your communication sector in the first half of the day, after which you crave comfort, familiarity, and quiet. Jupiter is our most glorious and magnificent planet in the solar system. He takes 12 years to circle the sun, usually staying in a zodiac sign for just about a year. As he visits each corner of your life, you always experience expansive, tremendous blessings. With him now dancing in your zodiac sign, he is delivering blessings to the world below in very particular ways. When it comes to love, you will certainly be more focused on what you want and desire, putting this above all other partners. Be courageous as you build your love life. The early morning is going to be a bit boring. You might not feel like your usual spunky self since the moon will be void of course. As the lunar lull persists, you could be surprised by how challenging it might be to get to work. Later on, the moon will enter its domicile, Cancer. Once intuitive Luna picks up the pace, you should take charge of your work environment. Invest yourself in how your workspace should look or be organized by going through each aspect of it. You deserve to make it comfortable. The weekend is always a valuable chance to pause and even more so this time. With the Sun and Venus both returning to begin the first planetary activity in your financial sector for the year next week, there is a chance to first reflect back on a week that not only hosted the Moon's monthly visit to your income sector but saw things fall into place across the income, work and career fronts. With today's planetary movements, it's time to look at your what foods you've been eating regularly and how it's affecting your emotions. Practice taking a good look at how you are feeling when you get ready for bed and when you get ready for work in the morning. Do you feel strong and flexible, calm, and relaxed? Food has a tremendous impact on how we process our emotions, both what we eat and how we eat it. Start paying closer attention, it may be time to re-examine some of your habits like eating while taking in a particularly upsetting news segment, or eating at your desk because you don't feel you can afford the time it takes to take a proper lunch break. At the moment, you are undoubtedly feeling the necessity of making a new start. The vibrations will be encouraging to push ahead and to get out of your shell so that you can make your life evolve rapidly. In your professional life, change your ideas by proposing new projects to those you collaborate with and try to keep a great freshness and enthusiasm in all that you do. Think about and sum up the past months and get rid of any preconceived ideas that you have. This would be the moment to get into the saddle even if things seem to be rather discouraging in appearance. As the Sun and Venus move into their final seven days in your relationship sector, the Moon is just wrapping up its last visit to your communication sector while Mars is in direct motion here. With all three set to come together next week, this is a chance to get the communication lines open ahead of time. In the meantime, across the income, work and career fronts there is a chance to stand back and regroup after a huge amount of water has passed under the bridge over just the last seven days. At the same time that both the Sun and Venus move into their final seven days in your relationship sector, the Moon wraps up what has been a pivotal visit to your communication sector. As the Moon's only visit while the Sun and Venus are in your relationship sector this was always going to be a valuable chance to get the communication lines open, but it comes just as the stars are starting to align on the communication and relationship fronts. Our Eyes in the Sky As the Moon enters Cancer today, you could feel called back to your past. This is a time of personal editing, and certain social unveilings seem to be occurring daily. Even if you receive news that seems unpleasant at first, it is meant to guide you and drive you to make wiser choices on your life path going forward. A possibility could present itself to you, 
and something special related to your future could knock at your door. The moon sprinkles some magic into your life in the evening. Never give up on what has been driving you forward all this time. The strong cardinal vibes help to bring perspective to certain fluctuations over the last few weeks. You feel more attracted to genuine people and experiences now. You have to give it your all in order to really know if something or someone is right for you. You are in a great position to make a big move in the workplace. If you are tired of the job you are currently at, then let it go because something better is waiting for you right around the corner. Have faith that the universe will support you now. If you're seeking a romantic breakthrough, today's planetary transits indicate a time when friends can fall in love for the first time, and those in long-term partnerships are seeing eye to eye. In general, this is the perfect day to go on a date and spend time with someone you really love to be around. The more inspired you feel, the more you will thrive. In the morning, the moon enters Cancer, ending its void of course which began last night. Over the next two days, the moon is the only body besides Neptune transiting a water sign. As such, it provides much-needed elemental balance during a period currently dominated by planets in cerebral air signs. We can get out of our heads and into our hearts at this time. Our emotional equilibrium hinges around creature comforts, long naps, good food, warm showers. We may choose to surround ourselves with familiar people or nostalgic items to feel safe. However, our moods often fluctuate in the sign of the crab. Vacillating feelings can be tempered by meditation, music, or aromatherapy. Somatic techniques can also be employed for self-soothing. Before noon, the moon squares Jupiter, an influence that we can use for socializing and catching up with loved ones. Although this transit will probably pass without incident, we may have difficulty defining our limits now. The Cancer moon inclines us to mood swings, and Jupiter suggests mitigating unease or discomfort with more of whatever happens to make us feel good in the moment. We can go overboard eating and drinking if we don't set some personal boundaries. We also risk crossing others' boundaries and attempting to provide unsolicited support, consolation, or nurturance. Taking the focus off ourselves to be of use to another might be briefly pacifying, but if someone has not asked to be comforted, we should respect their autonomy. Instead, we might utilize this opportunity to get more deeply in touch with our spiritual center through meditation, education, and introspection.